All right, Mr. Cash 22 here. Listen, like, comment, subscribe down below. This is question one from programming exercise. Uh, personal information. So I'll write a program that displays following information: your name, your address, what city, state, and zip, your telephone number, your college major. So first things first. Um, what all we're gonna do is just we're gonna do what's being asked. First thing it's saying is write a program that displays the following information. Okay, so it says your name. All right, so what we'll do is write name and we'll sign something. This is our variable name and it's gonna be entering your name. All right, and then from there it says your address. That's exactly what we're gonna do next. We're gonna assign an address right after that. Equal sign and let's put in the address 123 Main Street. Make sure you're also using these uh, quotation marks as well in order for you to execute these codes, otherwise it will not work. Um, next, what we'll do is write the city, and that's what's being asked. So we'll type in city, and then we'll say, we'll make up a city, Apple. And then state is next, and then we'll make up a state as well, VV. Now it says zip, and we'll put in a zip as well, one, two, three, four, five. Then it says your telephone number, so we'll put in number. And what we'll do in order to execute that, we'll type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then last but not least, major. And then we'll say comp site. Oh, also known as computer science. So now when we execute this code, in order for us to do that, what we'll have to do is we'll have to at least print this in order for it to display. Okay, otherwise... If you um, just try to run this, um, nothing's going to show up. It's just going to go on to the next tab. Um, so what we'll do is we'll print this, and then we'll print in our name. That's being stated. This is what's going to be grabbed. Next, what we'll do is our address. We're just going down exactly in this uh, order right here. Next is the city. Okay. Uh, make sure you're spelling things right as well. State. Alright, I know you guys have one burning question, so let's uh, execute this real quick. And everything that we wrote on top right here is perfectly showing down below. Alright, so let's say hypothetically speaking, um, uh, for instance, let's say that, let's say this one, let's say all we just did was print name like this. Let's see, just like that. As you can see, all it literally is doing, it's doing what exactly, that's that's the way Python is. Python is doing exactly what you're telling it to do. All you're saying is print name, okay? So that's exactly what it's doing. It's printing name, as you can see. So that's why you have to specify, hey, when I say print name, what I'm talking about is this variable that I had mentioned up front in the beginning right here. And that's how Python gets that. So if I tweak this, and I fix this for you, and I run this again, hey, it says, okay, so they're saying print this name of this variable that got assigned up above, which was John D. All right, so that's question one off the park. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, don't overthink it. With Python, there's so many ways to answer, you know, answer questions, you know, sometimes, but uh, this probably, for me, is personally the most simplest way. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Like I said, this is question one, and we'll go on to question number two. Thank you all. Stay blessed and take care.